For the C2O4 2 minus Lewis structure, the oxalate ion, let's count up the valence electrons first. Carbon has four valence electrons, and we have two carbons. Plus oxygen has six valence electrons, we have four oxygens. And don't forget the two minus up there. That's two additional electrons, so we need to add two to this number. So eight plus 24, that's 32 plus two, that equals 34. So we have a total of 34 valence electrons for the C2O4 two minus Lewis structure. We'll put the carbons in the middle of the Lewis structure. They are less electronegative and that's a good place for them to be. So we'll put carbon and carbon, and then we have four oxygens. We'll put two around each of the carbons. So let's put an oxygen here, 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 and right here. We'll now go around and put electrons, pairs of electrons, in between atoms to form the chemical bonds. So we have the chemical bonds between the carbons and the oxygens, and we've used two, four, six, eight, ten valence electrons. That means we have 24 more valence electrons. Let's complete the octets on the oxygens, and then go to the middle and fill the carbons in, if we have enough electrons. So now all of the oxygens have eight valence electrons, an octet. We've also used 34 valence electrons. However, we have a problem. If you look at the carbons, each carbon only has six valence electrons. Its octet is not full. So we need somehow to get the carbons to have a full outer shell. When we're confronted with a situation like this, what we can do is make double bonds between the carbons and the oxygen. In effect, they're sharing more valence electrons. We've not added any more valence electrons to the structure. We'll still be using 34. But by sharing, the carbon can have an octet as well as the oxygen. So let's move these two valence electrons here for a double bond. Now the oxygen has eight valence electrons and the carbon has eight valence electrons, still using only 34. We still have a bit of a problem with the carbon right here but we can do the same thing. Move two valence electrons to the center to form that double bond. So now all of the oxygens have octets and all of the carbons have octets and we're using their 34 valence electrons. The trick here when we ran out of valence electrons was to form double bonds between the carbon and oxygens. That happens quite frequently in drawing Lewis structures. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for C2O4, 2 minus the oxalate ion, and thanks for watching.